Hello everybody, welcome to your first virtual English session with me, your old pal Mrs Elmore. Now for the next three days, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we are going to focus on finishing our um, end of unit writing for our non-fiction link to Who Let the Gods Out. Okay, so as you can see from the can I on my screen, today is all about planning our explanation text. Now I know for some of you, this is going to be a bit of a refresher as it's something you started to look at on Thursday. However, two reasons we felt it was important to refresh. Number one, while you may have looked at it on Thursday, unfortunately, the ideas that you would have recorded and written down in school are obviously in school. So we wanted to give you an opportunity to record those at home, get your writing um, off to an easy start tomorrow. Number two, um, I know some of you went in on Thursday, which means that you will need to start kind of on the planning today. But that's absolutely fine. Today's an opportunity. Get us all up to speed. And then tomorrow we can absolutely smash the writing together. OK. So, for these lessons, you are going to need a few things. Number one is this video. Huzzah, you found it. Well done. Uh, number two, I have uploaded a copy of our Waggle guide on how to look after immortals. What a good one looks like. Um, onto our website um, for you to have a look at. I've also uploaded the planning sheet um, that you might want to use as well. OK, don't need to be able to be able to print these off. You can look at these on the screen uh, when it comes to recording your ideas. For some of you might want to um, record it on the planning sheet if you've got that option. For some of you, though, it might be a case you just write your ideas on line paper, plain paper, type them straight into the computer, whatever works best for you. OK, so without further ado, if we make a start, if you look at my screen, then you'll see I've got four different front covers from some different guides. And what I want you to do is pause me and just have a think about um, where what uh, what situations you might read these guides in. OK, so hopefully you've got the idea that uh, if, for example, I was really keen to learn how to play the piano, I might pick up the how to play piano uh, in 10 easy lessons. And I think the fact that it's read as 10 easy lessons probably tempts your reader in quite a lot. Again, if I was in a situation where I had something that was broken um, and I needed to repair it, I'd probably be reaching for the popular mechanics, how to fix anything guide. I'm sure uh, we could get that sorted. So the point is. When it comes to guides or explanations, these are often targeted at readers that have a need for something. OK, so somebody wants to be able to do something and these guides give them tips, steps um, to success about how they might achieve something. OK, so with this in mind, we are going to be writing our own guide on what to do if you meet an immortal. Something that happens to us all on a daily basis, I am sure. So. If we just look here again, this is up on the screen for reference. You might want to um, pause me in just a minute um, and have a little look. This is on the website. Download it. Have another read through just to refresh your memory. But if I um, talk through it now as well on last Wednesday, it would have been we started looking at this um, guide on how to cope with immortals. OK, and straight away, we recognise it was a piece of nonfiction writing uh, for a few different things. Firstly, we had our um, heading up here and our subheadings that kind of organised our writing into sections. We also had uh, words like so has your life been um, undoubtedly turned upside down? You that the writing is in second person is targeting the reader it's talking to them okay when we looked a little bit closer we also noticed loads of the skills that we've been focusing on over the last couple of weeks so we had things like modal verbs should would um will we had adverse or possibility undoubtedly um and we had expanded down phrases so uh things like an outlandish eccentric and extraterrestrial immortal that thinks they are perfect okay so like I said, you might want to pause me, have a little read through. If you're happy to continue, uh, we are going to use this kind of this, this writing to plan our own explanation text on the exact same subject. So how to what to do if you meet immortals. Um, and you can see my box up, which again is on the website, matches it perfectly. So I've got my box one, which was my introduction, uh, box two, which was a section on what to do when you first meet them. Box three, um, I've got the section on going on quests and adventures with them. Four, 
bit about um, tips for traveling with them. And finally, kind of a conclusion, further details box at the end. Now, again, just to look at this planning sheet, we've got it and this should look really familiar to you because it's the exact same way that we plan all of our end of unit writing. Uh, we box it up into the five parts. We have what each box is. We have kind of tips and information that we need to include in each section, a space for our area our ideas written as notes and then a little space for including our skills at the end there. Now I'm going to model how we might fill in each of those boxes. OK, so like I said, if you want to fill this in as we go and you do that onto the sheet and you can print it off ace, if you want to draw yourself out a little copy of it, brilliant. Or if you'd rather just do your notes on a laptop, um, onto some paper, whatever works best with you. OK, but if we have a look, our task is fill in our plan for how to deal with immortals. Um, and there's a few things that we can do to help us there. Number one, we're going to use the, like I said, the information here, which tells us exactly what to include in each box. Number two, we're going to think about magpie. And this is where we take ideas from other examples we've read, particularly that waggle that we've already had a look at. Um, and we look for really juicy ideas, words, phrases that we think, do you know what? That's brilliant. And I'm going to use that in my writing. Uh, we're going to think really carefully about our vocabulary. So tier two, tier three vocabulary, um, really choosing those wow words that are going to show off our writing to the best of our ability. Um, and then as we kind of go, um, we're going to include some skills, ready, you know, ready prepared sentences with our skills that we're focusing on that we can include in this box, okay? So hopefully that should make sense. Uh, let's get going, let's write some notes. Unfortunately, uh, I think my writing might look a little bit mad if I try and kind of write it onto my screen. So I'm gonna type up, but hopefully you get the idea either way. So thinking about this first section, what do I need to include? I need to include um, some questions to kind of draw my reader in. A little bit of a, um, information on what my guide's actually going to do, and I need to encourage the reader to read on. So I am going to write in notes. That means not full sentences. That means kind of keywords and ideas. Reason I do that? Well, we know it's because if I write in full sentences, I might fit two sentences in there, and then I'm going to have two sentences to write in my introduction when it comes to writing. If I write in notes, I'm going to have a box crammed full of different ideas that I can then use and hopefully should really speed up that writing process when it comes to it. OK, so if I think about the three questions to draw my reader in. One of the things I remember seeing and really liking in the waggle was the idea of, oh, has your life been turned upside down? Because I'd imagine it's a pretty mad thing if you meet an immortal. So I'm going to magpie that as my first idea. So life been turned upside down is what I'm going to go for. And I'll put a little question mark to remind myself there. Um, I might, again, think about it. It's a pretty crazy situation. I might think, do you know what? Are you feeling desperate um, for support or something like that? Because I think I would be if I was in this situation. I also, now I come to think about it, I think desperate might be one of our key words. Woo -woo. So feeling desperate for support. Um, one more question. Uh, oh, let's have a think. So life been turned upside down, feeling desperate for support. Um, do you have nowhere else to turn to? Because again, a bit like Elliot, you might think if I tell someone I've met an immortal, they might think I'm completely mad. I need someone I can trust to help me with this. So um, I might say nowhere else to turn to. Um, now, again, I mean, I'm writing notes kind of finishing. You can probably fill up the box. So let's drag this across. Let's go. Nowhere else to turn to. Um, if so, read this. Ma oh, I'm going to use the word manual instead of guide. I like that. So if so, read this manual. Uh, it's going to give tips, helpful hints. Um, I do tips and helpful hints um, to, I don't know, maybe I could say to guide you through, guide you through. And then I might get in something like, so encourage a reader to um, to read on. So don't put down, don't put this um, down or something like that. OK, so obviously there's not too much information there, but it is just my in introduction. And obviously, these are just my main ideas, which I'm going to pad out when it comes to the writing. So if I have a look, I've included my three questions so I can probably do a little tick on these. So, yep. I've got my three questions. I'm saying what my guide's going to do. 
tips and helpful hints to guide you through. Um, and I'm kind of saying, don't put this down to encourage them. I think you guys could probably go into a bit more detail than me there. So that's how we kind of fill in that first box. All right. Now for this little section over here for our vocabulary and skills, remember this is where we get our ready-made sentences um, that we can just then pop straight into our writing when it comes to writing them. All right. So in a way, this first box is slightly different because we've already kind of come up with our ideas of questions. I guess here is where we can kind of put them into full sentences that might include other skills. You can see I've also put in here uh, modal verbs as something to include. So if you're a member, a modal verb is something that shows how um, certainly we know something or how likely something is to happen. We've got should, would, could, ought to, will, may, must. And remember, we can turn all of those negative um, by adding ain't or not onto the end. OK, so I'm going to start with um, life been turned upside down. I'm going to try and get a question that includes um, a modal verb in. So I might say, um, oh, I so uh, has your life now i know the waggle used undoubtedly as an adverb for possibility so in which case i might say has your life certainly been turned upside down uh sorry i've just realized you might not be able to see this where my camera is so has your life been certainly turned upside down and then i might say something like um really simple you should read this guide oh gosh sorry that's gone off the screen i'm still working this out guys if i just wiggle that over you should read this guide yeah so in that box i've got an example of a question where i've included another skill in um, and i've also got an example of a modal verb and those are in full sentences so hopefully that makes sense for some of you. Like I said, this is your second time looking at it. So hopefully it will be a case of getting in the old memory bank and whizzing out all of those ideas um, that you came up with on Thursday. What I'd like you guys to do now is you can pause me, you can reverse me, whatever you want. Um, but I would like you to either fill in or write notes in whatever format you want for your own explanation text plan, which you will be ready to use tomorrow for our writing okay as always if there's any questions if you want us to take a look at your work please do email 5e if you're in my class then email me um, and 5r obviously please feel free to email ms rutherford and we should be on hand to answer any questions take a look tell you anything else you could include etc all right good luck we know you're going to smash it and we can't wait to see uh, your writing all right. Take it steady, guys. Bye.